Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Rami. I am a second year medical student, a registered nurse, a mom, and a wife. And my content relates to all of that. So if you haven't already, please click that red subscribe button to join the family. This video is gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a glimpse of my life as a medical student, as well as a registered nurse, as I'm working a full 12 hour shift tomorrow and I have to go to class right now. Technically it's a dry lab. It's only a two hour dry lab where we're gonna be doing pelvic exams, pap smears, and breast exams. We kind of did a little bit of that um, over the past couple of weeks, but it was kind of like on our own time. We're gonna be doing it a little bit more in detail where we have people actually telling us like what to do. I'm actually kind of late, so this is gonna be really brief. Um, I just have my workout clothes on instead of my scrubs because I'm gonna go to the gym after and I don't think we have to wear scrubs, um, but let's say hi to baby girl. Hi. Say hi. Hi, baby. It was her first time getting sick this weekend, but she's been doing so much better. <laughs> <gasps> okay. All right, guys, let's head out. up it is actually later in the day and I'm finally getting to be able to study so yeah I'm gonna be watching these boot camp videos um, I'm actually almost done with repro but I wanted to finish up endocrinology um, boot camp actually just came out with a couple more videos um, a couple more sections regarding like the hypothalamus and the anterior and posterior pituitary um, which is great because I really needed a little more help in those concepts so I'm glad that they just released these videos here is the hypothalamus and it's about an hour and 47 but I think I'll get done faster than that if I just make the speed a little bit faster. So I'm going to quickly run through those videos as fast as I can um, because I do have to sleep early to go to work tomorrow. Let us get started on this. <laughs> quickly address a question that you guys have been asking me and that is why I'm still working as a nurse while in medical school. The first reason why I still work as a nurse in medical school is because of financial security. Um, it's really great just to be able to pick up a shift or two if I want to. If something happens or if we need a little bit of extra cash, um, pretty much they always need help at work. I can always pick up a shift with some bonus cash, so that's also great. For example, when we moved here uh, four hours from Dallas where I used to work, we left our house that we lived at as a rental and then we got some really bad tenants and the property manager was really bad um, with a situation that happened. So we lost a little bit of money there, but I'm able to just pick up a shift or two if I need that extra cash to cover what we lost. So that's always great to have because for the most part, we're basically living off loans as medical students. So any extra cash just to be able to kind of do what we want comfortably is always great. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you know that my first year as a medical student, I got pregnant. Um, so we tried to find a house to buy because we were living in a small 600 square foot apartment. Um, so I was actually working PRN back at my job in Dallas. I worked there for five years, PRN, which is just once a month. So I was just going down there once a month and working my shift and coming back for school. Um, but I actually switched to full time for like three months almost, because in order to buy a house, you have to work full time. So I was working there on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday night, and then coming back for school, Monday through Friday. So that was so crazy, but it was so worth it because it is so nice just to be able to have family come and stay with us if they wanna come and see Violet. So I'm so thankful that that all worked out, but right after I quit, Right after we got our house, I quit and I picked up the job that I currently work at, which is so nice, which is a beautiful 10 minute commute. So that's super nice. Uh, right when I quit, I actually wasn't gonna pick up a PRN here. I just realized like a few weeks after I quit, I felt like I would really miss being able to have real patient interaction and just be able to keep up my skills um, and be able to work with the doctors. 
there's lots of attendings that I work with and I get to ask them questions about like research and residencies and things like that and it's really cool just to be able to do that. As medical students all we get are standardized patients to practice on like patient wise. Um, we do start clinicals here in a few months in March which is nice but I just really crave and love that patient interaction um, that I'm able to have as a nurse. So. Because of all those reasons, I decided to just pick up a PRN and I really enjoy where I work now. I used to work at a public county hospital um, where things were just happening left and right. It was like a level one. So there's always craziness happening. People delivering in the lobby, even in the parking lot, like just all of this was just normal day to day stuff. Whereas where I work at now, it's a private hospital. It's really nice. Nothing really happens, but if it does, like I'm not worried at all because I have so much practice with emergent situations which is great that I worked at the hospital that prepared me for all of that but for the most part it's pretty nice they give me lots of breaks to pump and in downtime like when I'm finished charting all my patients are good and checked on I'm able to just look at um, my first aid book and just look at some concepts really quick um, so yeah it's a lot more nice and chill and I really enjoy it so that's why I decided to keep working as a nurse So my day starts around 7 a.m. where I get report and then clean my desk and just look at all my patients for the day. And I determine who is the highest priority and who needs to be seen first. And then from there, I perform head to toe assessments and then get all my charting done before 9 a.m., which is medication time. I forgot my giant water bottle, so I had to buy one. But here is some postprandial insulin that I had to give, but all my patients usually get a prenatal and a colace, which is a stool softener. Here is the supply room. We have, of course, plenty of fluids tubes for lab draws, tubing, IV start kits, and just lots of syringes in this area. Um, just everything you'll need for anything blood-like. Um, on this side, we just have hygiene stuff. We have socks, washcloths, shampoo, you name it, um, water bottles, pads, just everything hygiene over here. Around 11.30, I go for my first pumping break, and I like to eat lunch around the same time, so I'm kind of not taking like a whole hour of break at the same time because I usually pump and eat lunch at the same time at home. Here's another supply room we have. Here is like catheters, everything you'll need for every kind of urine specimen, um, and just a bunch more fluids, literally the works here. Around 2 p.m., over halfway through the shift, I like to reward myself with a little coffee and just clean up all my charting. And then around three o'clock, I go back to the Pixis and grab any extra medications. Usually medication time for my antepartum population is at nine and 3 p.m. And the little drawers just pop out if you haven't seen a Pixis before and it gives you every kind of medication you could ever want. At 7.15, I give report and I put away my iPhone. This is my work iPhone that I use the entire 12 hour shift. Just finished my shift, it is 7.30. This lighting is so bad, sorry guys. I feel like a majority of my shift was spent helping people, like I was helping with like pick lines and blood draws and just little things like that. That took a couple hours um, actually. I love helping others, so that. So that is, <clears throat> So that was fine. Somehow I always get the nursing students, which is great. I literally love having the nursing students because I literally let them do absolutely everything, like do all my IVs. Literally, I just sign in and they take all the medications out of the Pixis. And I just love teaching them. It's so much fun because I remember being a student. I remember lots of nurses ignoring me or being rude or just doing everything without me. Um, and yeah, I just remember how that felt. So I always make it a point to let them learn as much as possible and have as much fun during clinical as possible. Yeah, I'm going to head home, um, go see baby. I'm sure she's about to go to sleep. That's the worst part about working day shift is I wake up before her and I come back after she goes to sleep. So, um, I think my husband is making some dinner. So let's go say hi. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. It is about 10 o'clock in the morning. 
Um, I had a very late, slow start to my day because I was just so tired from yesterday. Um, just from waking up early, honestly, my shift wasn't even that bad. I do need to catch up on a lot of studying. So I just like a glare in my glasses. I got some new glasses, by the way. They're like these little pink frame. Um... Vogue glasses, I guess. I was just trying to use up my prescription money. So I got these pink glasses and I really like them. But yeah, I really need to get to studying. I have a lot to catch up on. Repro has been so much fun. Literally, I love every single repro session. I have been procrastinating on my studying. The struggle is real and I just feel like I can't get motivated to study because I feel like Christmas break is around the corner. Um, Thanksgiving is actually this week, so we do get pretty much this whole week off. We have one day of school tomorrow, but yeah, I really need to catch up because I am just so behind. So today I'm gonna be watching some boot camp videos. If you guys haven't watched my other vlog about how I study in med school, go ahead and watch that video, but I'm going to do male pathology and female pathology. Probably take me about two hours, uh, maybe a little bit more than that. I am upstairs in the office. Um, it's a little messy in here, but I got my water bottle all filled up and I got my backpack and everything. So yeah, let's get to studying. So I am all done, just finished all of male pathology um, and then I just coordinated everything I learned and took notes on first aid which is so helpful because I can just glance at this quick review. Instead of having to go through and watch every single video again, I have all my notes taken from boot camp on here which is great. So it took me only like 45 minutes. I just like 1.25 or 1.5 times the speed um, on most of these videos. And now I'm going to move on to female pathology. Um, this is a lot. It's gonna be two hours and 20 minutes, but it'll probably take me like an hour and a half to finish if I just um, speed it up a little bit. Hey guys, I just finished female pathology. It is 3 p.m. So it did take me about an hour and a half to complete, um, but I am rewarding myself by going to the gym. Um, I'm trying to go like three or four times a week, just trying to get back into it. But yeah, I'm going to enjoy my workout. But thank you guys so much for following me along my journey and hang out with me this weekend. Don't forget to comment if you guys have any questions or any video ideas. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Look at those teeth coming in. Can you show them your teeth? Can you show them your teeth? <laughs> I love you. <laughs>